One second, Mr. Patsati, what explains this kind of reaction that we are seeing from Pakistan? No. Is it seeking attention or something else? I think I'm particularly happy that my friends from Pakistan are all from Karachi. It's a city I liked, I was very fond of, stayed three and a half years there. Uh, and I just want to tell Ambassador Hilali that we have absolute information and I've even seen the residents of Daud in Defense Housing Society in Karachi. He has other houses, he has uh, uh, places to, to stay in Islamabad and Lahore also. And I'm glad there's an air marshal here. Air marshal, we are not so dumb as to try to replicate what Americans do. I mean, they, they come through the Afghan border, we know pretty well that your guys have got a lot of radar surveillance on our border. So, you know, we're not born yesterday. <laughs> I can assure you, and I think you know that. Uh, the fact of the matter is right. that, look, Dawood, we know, is living in Karachi. We also know when his daughter married uh, Javed Mianda, the precise details of the aircraft in which he went from Karachi to Dubai. So, you know, let's, let's not worry about that aspect of it. That's one aspect. Daud is not wanted only by India. He is also wanted by the United States. He's the only terrorist wanted both by the FBI and the US Drug Enforcement Agency for drug smuggling and funding of narcotic smuggling. So he has an international warrant on him. He's listed under UN Security Council Resolution 1372. So Daud is not just an Indian concern, he's an international concern. Let's be very clear, much like Osama. Mr. The Bata other point Sati, is... May I just interrupt, you. You. May I just interrupt no, you briefly? Briefly. Yeah. I just want to agree with you. I want to agree with you. And I want okay. to say to you very simply that if you know where he is, and if you say here is a wanted uh, warrant for him from all over the world, and the matter is also in the Security Council, why don't you move the Security Council? Just, just why a, don't just you a, ask them to pass a resolution? Just, just, just a minute. The, uh, you know as well as I do of you and security that under resolution. Security Council Resolution 1373, there's a listing procedure, and thereafter it is for individual nations to take action. We are in touch with the Americans. Hence the reference of the form of the Home Minister to the Americans on this because he is also wanted by them. On a larger issue coming back to what is Dawood accused of, Mr. Hilali, he was responsible for the serious uh, bomb, bomb blast in Mumbai, 1993, in which 350 people were killed and 2,000 injured. Others have been tried, the proceedings and his involvement have come out. Now, I would commend all of you, please read a book by Shuja Nawaz on the Pakistan Army. It's called Crossed Swords. The person Daud was in touch with was General Javed Nasser, then DGISI. Javed Nasser was such a loose cannon that he had to be sacked by General Kakar. And the real problem is Javed Nasser's claim to fame was an involvement with the, uh, with the Sharif family through the Tablighi Jamaat. So these are all very well documented. They're documented by your people. Hence the quest for uh, Daud. On the elections itself, may I say one thing? Pakistan has not been an issue. Mr. Modi and others have made statements saying we want good relations, but 2611 will remain a serious issue. And let me tell you, that is a national sentiment in this country. So on this, Arunab has said his piece, but let me make it clear that you do not figure in this election. No. As for, no, as, no, no. As for Chaudhary Nisar, I entirely agree with uh, what has been said by Mr. Ilali. Everybody regards him as a loose cannon. If, no, but if the better if, thing then, is to make the admission. No, no, just, just, just a minute. No, no, the, be the better yeah. thing, no, no, he no, may just, be a just, loose just, cannon, just, but sometimes just, loose just, cannons just, reveal just, the just truth. Just a minute. But in, the, this, in this case, the trail for 2611 goes back from Javed Nasser to the man who appointed so him. Was then Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. So there are sensitivities about, for the Prime Minister himself, on the 1993 bomb blast, which don't exist for him on the okay, 2008 bomb blast. So, so I, I, I genuinely so, think, I, now, Mr. Hilali, that so this, is right no, no, this is the right time. No, no, this is the right time, Colonel Shafkat, to make the admission, Colonel Shafkat. You make the admission. Yeah. Right. That like we were hiding Osama bin Laden, we have been hiding our Dawood Ibrahim. In any case, Colonel Shafkat, as you are aware, Pakistan has officially admitted that Dawood Ibrahim was in Pakistan. They are not saying he's there now. 
But your government no, you has know. officially so, accepted has that you were sheltering Dawood Ibrahim. Yeah, the I only did. question, I, Colonel Shafkat, is whether Dawood Ibrahim is in your country today or not. This man has seen him, that man has seen him, he is round the corner, he is everywhere. And then you say we are hiding him. How can we be hiding him if he is very visible? Sir, Osama was round the everybody. corner from your army the base. High commissioner can go for Osama a was round the corner from understand. your army base, wasn't he? Yeah, but he was... In hiding, now you say we... we he was in hiding. hiding. Yes, tomorrow, yes, tomorrow yes, we will yes, catch Dawood Ibrahim yes, yes, and you will say that he is I mean, in hiding. Aruna, yes, Aruna, 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 where, and uh, with uh, three wives, a uh, couple of kids, servants, the works. Nobody knew of him. My God, in a cantonment, I know Pakistani cantonments. If I went as a diplomat, yeah. Yeah. I had to get a half a dozen clearances yeah. to go there. No, how and long? Osama bin Laden yes, living for 10 years problems. next to the Kakul Military Academy, please. You one know, of our problems. Uh, fine, you've got to say what you've got Mr. to say. Prata but Saki, nobody believes you. Don't be very selective in your facts. One of the problems in our country is mm. that even the GHQ could be attacked and even President Musharraf's convoy <laughs> could be attacked. And <laughs> that is, is because. This is the last resort argument. <laughs> so this is the last resort the argument that we are a chaotic. But we admit Mr. Hilali, this is the, the last resort argument batteries. which you used after Osama was caught. You remember after Osama was what? caught, your country's basic argument was we are a large, unmanageable, chaotic, unregulated country where everybody does everything, including Osama bin no, Laden. We I'd have like to remind you, Mr. Hilali. We had like to remind you, Mr. Enemy. Hilali. We Allow have me. a very clever enemy. <coughs> And that enemy has a lot of die-hard supporters. And those I'd like to, die-hard supporters I'd like to remind you, have penetrated I'd like to remind you that the who's who, Colonel Shafkat will know, Colonel Shafkat Saeed will admit what? that the who's who of the Pakistan Why elite, I admit? including senior I members admit. of the no. ISI, were at the guest list when Dawood no. Ibrahim was playing host no. in his son Moin Ibrahim's grand no. wedding. Is it no. true that in Moin Ibrahim's wedding, no, you are the who's who of the Pakistan elite was books. there in Karachi? There is no substantial evidence on that. And what whatever you are saying, admitted by Dawood's closest aides, Chota Shakil and his brother Anis Ibrahim. It has been admitted by them. Mm -hmm. It's a documented fact. Make up his mind, is gone? Sir, you please admit I it before trying to meddle in the Indian democratic for process. yelling competition. I thought that we would speak and we would be addressing and hearing the Indian uh, intelligentsia yeah. with a purpose to cool down the things. I did not join so the cool down what? Cool and down what? The world's second like most wanted man. To, whatever you say, is your you state want me guest. To admit that. That and that nobody even unfair. mentioned, mentioned Pakistan, but like you overreacted. That. Your interior minister, when he made that statement, no, was he, he trying did not to cool temper down. This is the first statement. No, hold on. You are a very say? well aware man. This is the first statement by a Pakistani minister since nine months. And look what Modi said. It's a ridiculous saying. statement. So what if it's the first statement? Campaign. Maruf, is that, Maruf, it is, is not that a defense that Karim It was very much required. If he was not worth his salt if he had not given this statement. He was supposed to give oh, this no. statement at this point of time. You, so you, you want your, your months, ministers to create fictitious situations. All Respond the things, to things so which are never Pakistan said. And India come closer to each what other. What kind of logic is that? Modi Saab, what do you mean you were supposed campaign. to make the statement? He's trying to play Let his you made up your mind. He's trying to play anti-Pakistan theme to uh, bag more votes. And he is just harping on anti-Pakistan theme. Whether naming what Pakistan mean? or not, whatever yeah, he's you saying, you it is anti Pakistan. I'm sorry, Colonel. That's the most important part of the government of Pakistan, 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 Pakistan to say. With due respect to you. Everybody knows, say, I, I, everybody I, I, knows Mr. I'm Nawaz Sharif's intention. Everybody knows Pakistan, the government of Pakistan's intention. They want good relations with neighborly countries. As I said to you earlier, especially with India. As I said to you earlier, Colonel Saab, no, you are misinformed. Don't expect me that you would As make a statement and you would As say, Colonel Shafkat would admit. Why little, should I admit? There is very little mention. You got to ask Saab, me and let me, me out. have my comments. There, there is very little talk about Pakistan in this election campaign. That, that there are only two issues Not little that talk. continue no. to come out what? from Pakistan. No. Every if you time, talk for five India, seconds or five minutes, what India are you saying? Every time to address 
the larger issue of Pakistan's proxy India element. India has never, India One has never that Pakistan has doing nuclear saber rattling. Size and its Pakistan does nuclear India saber rattling. India is the biggest country in this, this time, region. Sir, but we this expect time, India to be you more are not going to be able to bluff your way through. But you are India not going comes to be able to bluff your way through. Levels. And I think Pakistan must get no. that message. India, hear me out. Hear me out. One minute. What I am saying no, is, no, first of all, I am not here for a yelling competition. And this is not going to Secondly, over well for you going to and for Pakistan. Which because India hatred. is now wanting and to call your bluff. If you can say something which can cool down this, no, you can What is your minister but talking about? This is about? no way that you all are snubbing and <laughs> what is your uh, minister talking about? And look your at the minister, statement that you are making. Your minister is talking about that Pakistan is not a pushover, indicating Pakistan's. Even Mr. Hilali referred to that. That Pak is you to you yeah, violate us right. territorial sovereignty, yeah, 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 and we'll yes. show you what you are all about. Why are you guys raising the level? You know, Modi Why aren't Saab, you willing you know to accept stand on that you have did, international yes, terrorists saying, did, operating out of your land? And who if has you got a can't bit of do anything sense, about it, what, what, allow what, the world the to do something about this it. region. So what if spikes Mr. Modi fear in your mind? Of India? What spikes fear in your mind? Amen. What spikes fear in the mind of your interior minister about Dawood Ibrahim, Mr. Hilali, Mr. Mind, Rao? It, did he did what Modi uh, say expose your insecurities uh, about Dawood being in your country? Let's connect these two statements. What has Mr. Chaudhary Nisar Ali said? What is wrong in that? All Mr. countries in the world they are worried who comes into power in any country. Well, he, I mean, the he has American said. Elections, he has said that Pakistan, Pakistan cannot have be you heard what he has said? And, they're all talking and Pakistan will respond the, uh, with everything in its power. force. And everybody carries out an analysis now, look as at to Moody what is favourable for that look particular country. So that is a right. What Mr. Nisar has said. Uh, tell me if there is anything province. inaccurate in it. He is very correct. And uh, this is a fear not only uh, uh, in the world over, Pakistan. even in India, that his extremist Mr. policies, Mr. Rao, his, his extremist Mr. Hindu, Rao, uh, you know, your policies, interior minister all said, minorities in India your interior are minister because said of that. the following, his track Mr. Rao, for last please listen to me. Years says that. His statement, Mr. Rao, your interior minister, minister says, was very sane and correct once he said, other your interior minister said that, that have always condemned that. And uh, Pakistan is not uh, dead to all these issues. And what Mr. Nisar has said, I mean, even if you disengage from Mr. Daud Ibrahim's issue, uh, I think he is very correct. M Mr. Don't Rao, talk. Pakistan is neither scared. Pakistan will deal with the new leadership in Afghanistan. We will deal with new leadership in uh, India. India, after of all, course, since 1947, has not Pakistan, only been led by Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao, you know, been, uh, you have a lot of problems is, uh, internally. Uh, Just a minute, so Mr. Rao, please hear me. You have a lot of problems internally right Moody. now. Yes. You may want to divert attention Moody, by trying to get into a debate where you don't exist, Mr. Hilali. Your interior minister said Modi should should find out where Dawood Ibrahim is living and then he should dream of attacking Pakistan. And then he says Pakistan's armed forces Correct. are capable of responding to India. You were not even named. Correct. Nobody you, even named Pakistan. So Nobody said we are going India. to attack you. The only comment that was Arna, made is that if we are going to Arna, go after Arna, Dawood Ibrahim, India's we are not going to announce it on national peace television. peace loving people. Where did you come you have been by, by, by. Where did you come in? Many times you have destabilized Pakistan. All your neighboring countries are unhappy with you. You name a country, you have interfered in Sri Lanka, in Nepal, in Maldives, but really, in, uh, really, Pakistan, really, all the way across Mr. to Mr. Afghanistan. Really, what are you talking? Me, me, I mean, are you Mr. Mr. very naive? Mr. Or, uh, Mr. Mr. Rao, which Mr. country Rao, in the me. world wants to do business with you? Even America, Mr. Sir, Sir, hear me out. Tell me which country in the world wants to do business with you? The Americans think. You are a complete India wants waste to do business time. with us. Read Carlota we are Indian market. So wrong uh, in India are wants to do business with us. I mean, if we are bad, you are no better. Every country in your Punjab. Okay. The Saudi Arabians India are is very keen to do business with Pakistan. Tell me if you have... Everybody wants to do business with Pakistan. I mean, who, who have you got as a friend? No, Mr. Mr. Really? Mr. We have our own friends. But tell and, me who. Uh, Mr. Colonel Chakkar Khan, you know the problem with your interior minister. Is that he has, you know, your. There is no problem, please understand. No problem. He has not said Karan, anything. Karan Shafta Khan, the one day your ambassador actually praises Narendra Modi for saying the right things. Yeah. The other day, your, yes, next day your interior Narendra minister Modi says, says you, don't, don't attack us. Of course. Uh, and Where is your consistency? No, whenever 
Did you know what Abdul Basit said when the other day? Modi would say you know Abdul correct, Basit, your ambassador's comment. When he are you aware Senate, that Abdul Basit said? Here Abdul Basit said yes. that we are looking forward to any government which takes over in Delhi. Whoever Forget comes, we will Abdul invite Basit. the next prime minister to visit Pakistan. Modi now. He praised Modi. He said, he said that his response when a question was asked about Pakistan was very positive, and that gives us hope that positive things will come. I am encouraged. Look, did your I, I, did your ambassador would, say that? I or would not? suggest that. Like, like uh, your channel should get responsible and make a debate in which you cool down things and bring these people together. Colonel, Colonel Shafkat to Sai, who is being irresponsible? Modi says that I will follow the policies of the Vajpayee-led NDA government in dealing with Pakistan. Are you even aware? Does Pakistan fail to remember that it was an NDA government under Vajpayee that initiated a dialogue with Pakistan in 1999? That you betrayed us in Kargil after who that? initiated the dialogue? Do you not remember it that Pakistan it was Vajpayee who invited Musharraf uh, for the Agra Vajpai. summit no, again to be Pakistan. betrayed after that? No. You failed to remember? Do you fail it to remember Musharraf that it was under Vajpayee that the two it countries reached Musharraf the point relations India. in 2003 it was Musharraf 2008? who made that dialogue and reached almost the conclusion. And Indians backed out. Do you remember? We do you remember that we invited you for the Agra well. summit you are under Vajpayee, and after that, that you Agra tried to sponsor the attack Musharraf on the Indian Parliament? No, no, it was not initiated by uh, Vajpayee. It was initiated by Pakistani president, and it was Pakistani president's capability and ability who came is, and who it silenced it is, it is the Indian, Indian media shameful. at that time. It he is indeed shameful that why you why to take credit for that. Famous breakfast you know, you can create this in which he you said can create that we are at the you can of create this myth. solution to this. You can fight yes. windmills. You, you but it appears to me today, Mr. Thing. Partsati, that the Pakistanis are simply things, trying to fight windmills and not tackling the real issue of Dawood Ibrahim. It is high time that we go Listen to me. The fact of the matter is that what your interior minister said has been disowned by your ambassador here. He hasn't repeated it. Now, the fact of the matter is, I go back to what I said earlier. Chaudhary Nisar's comments obviously has come because of the reference to Daud. Bringing back Daud to the center of attention will not suit your present leadership. Uh, they, we should be quite content if we restricted ourselves to the second Mumbai attack. Don't forget, there were two Mumbai attacks. The, uh, both originated in Pakistan, of that there is no doubt, because uh, the weapons, everything have been seized. Uh, the people have been caught and interrogated, tried and sentenced to death. So I think what is important for Pakistan is to realize that this has to end. That we can talk uh, whatever we want, but if this, uh, if this is not brought to a closure and the people responsible for both the Mumbai attacks in the first Mumbai attack, at least 30, I think, have got death sentences. But we want to go to the roots. Uh, wherever the roots are, we will find ways to get to the roots. I'm not saying that uh, holding any threats or saying we're going to do what the Americans did or anyone. But we have a long memory. We will get to the roots. On 26-11 and on the 1993 Mumbai attack, there can be no forgetting or forgiving. Those responsible will have to be brought to justice. And we need a long patience, we'll do it. We don't operate like the Americans, like cowboys. We, we have our own way of doing well, these things. Well, and we'll bring people to justice, because justice has to prevail in these two cases. Yeah, you, 350 people killed in 1993, 167 people killed in 2008. That, especially the people of Mumbai and all the people of India, well, neither forget nor forget. Well, I think whichever government comes to power, whichever party wins, I think the important thing is to put national security back on the table, to stop the soft peddling and the candy floss diplomacy, to go hard with Pakistan on Dawood. And besides, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to add one thing at the very end. As I thank Maruf and Mr. Patsati, we lost the links there with our guests from Pakistan. The fact is, Shariar Khan is the Pakistani envoy for improving relations with India. He admitted... He has gone on record admitting that Dawood was in Pakistan. Then he said he was chased away. Sharia lives in Karachi where Dawood Sh lives. Sharia Khan lives in Karachi where, where Dawood, Dawood lives. lives. <laughs> exactly. So, if someone knows the truth, it is Sharia Khan. I think it's up Absolutely. to us now and how I we push that. the envelope. Mr. Partsati, Maruf, thanks for joining me. And we are going to debate number two in a couple of minutes. Thank you for joining me for debate number one on the news tonight.